We're just going one day by one day after this mess. Until I get this mess cleaned up, it's one day by one day. Just days before Thanksgiving, a Garden City family is trying to pick up the pieces after losing everything in a fire. Welcome to the news at six. Fires have now destroyed two trailers in the past two days, completely displacing the families who live there. One of the homes ignited in Caldwell. That happened this morning. Another exploded in Garden City on Monday. Propane heaters, the cause of both of those fires. Our Gretchen Parsons joins us live right now at the explosion site in Garden City with more on this. Gretchen. Well, Mark and D, that's right. One of those trailers did explode and it was behind me where you now just see a dirt lot. It was a 22 foot camper and after the fire, nothing remains. And during winter this time of year, everyone of course is trying to stay warm and cozy inside their homes. But the Boise Fire Department says you just have to be so careful with propane heaters and heaters in general. It doesn't take too long before a structure can become completely engulfed in flames. And it was gone probably half an hour. This is what's left of the camper trailer. Steve Bradley and his wife were living out of in Garden City. We're trying to get everything back on our feet. We lost everything, all our clothes, all our keys, uh, all the money. It's all gone. Last week, Bradley replaced the propane heater inside the trailer. There was a leak that ultimately caused a violent explosion Monday. We was inside just getting out of bed and there was a gas leak that we did not find or see and that the wall just blew out the door went clear over here and hit the car the two narrowly escaped once it blew i grabbed her and told her to get out the door because the door was already gone so we got the hell out of there we lost our puppy but the minute it blew it started on fire we was in shock we didn't know what the hell it was we thought it was a sonic boom that was pretty loud. Boise Fire Chief Dennis Doan says anyone who installs a propane heater themselves is taking a huge risk and to leave it to the professionals. So many of your camp stoves and camp trailers are fueled by propane. And they just need to have uh, to be vented and then they need to be installed by a professional. Another propane fueled fire torched this trailer and car in Caldwell Tuesday. Caldwell Fire says a tenant turned on a portable propane heater that was sitting outside on the porch, then went back inside and fell asleep. The porch was enclosed in plastic to keep warm, and shortly after, the trailer went up in flames. Any heater uh, needs space to breathe, uh, at least three feet, and we need to keep objects clear uh, and away from them. And you also want to make sure you have a CO detector because the, those propane heaters are going to give off CO. Chief Doan says breathable space applies to any type of heater, whether it be propane, electric, or gas. It doesn't take long for anything too close to spark. This is probably going to happen again because winter's coming on. There's a lot of people living in these travel trailers. And if they don't watch what they're doing, it's going to blow. Well, thankfully, in both of those fires, no one was seriously injured, but you heard Steve Bradley say his dog did die um, in that fire. And we have a GoFundMe uh, family member of Steve set that up for him. Uh, we have that on our website. Just look for this story at KTVB.com if you would like to uh, help out that family. Back to you. The chief is right. Those CO detectors are really needed. If you use propane, they're $20. You can find them everywhere. Mm -hmm. It's really good advice by the chief. All right, Gretchen, thanks a lot.